The coroner looking into the deaths of five British soldiers shot by an Afghan policeman has this afternoon recorded a verdict of unlawful killing while on active service. The men, three from the Grenadier Guards and two from the Royal Military Police, were killed in November 2009. Claire Sadler has more from Trowbridge Coroner's Court. The coroner's court's heard three days of evidence about what happened on the 3rd of November 2009 when W01 Darren Chant, Sergeant Matthew Telford and Guardsman Jimmy Major, all from the Grenadier Guards, were killed alongside Corporal Stephen Boot and Corporal Nicholas Webster-Smith of the Royal Military Police. They were all shot by an Afghan policeman that they'd been working and living alongside in an ANP checkpoint in Nadi Ali. Now, the coroner said today how none of those men were wearing body armour at the time, and that's because, he said, they didn't feel there was any kind of threat from within inside the compound where they were operating. They also weren't carrying any weapons for exactly the same reason. The coroner also went over some of the behaviour of Goldbuddin, the killer, in the time before those shootings. Now, he was known to be a cannabis user. In fact, on occasion, he'd uh, obviously been using so much cannabis he could hardly even walk straight. Also, he was known on at least one occasion to have inappropriately touched one of the British soldiers. Now, these issues were taken to the ANP commander, the man who had the authority to deal with Goldbuddin. Budden. As far as the coroner was concerned, everything possible had been done to deal with those issues. This was a very emotional day for the families here as they heard that verdict from the coroner David Riley of unlawful killing while on active service in Afghanistan. Afterwards, representatives came out here and issued statements on the family's behalf. Stephen paid the ultimate sacrifice for his country and he was immensely proud of what he was doing. We are immensely proud of him. We miss him desperately, but we know that he was committed to the job that he was doing. Brave men, they suffered the cruelest of deaths, so undeserving for the good that they were doing. I pay tribute to them and continue to extend my sympathies and support to their families who have suffered so much. He led from the front, but this will not be the final chapter for him. His heart still beats through our beautiful son, George, who will know his father through his legacy. Six other British soldiers were injured in that shooting in 2009, and some of them came here to Trowbridge to give evidence to the inquest. The coroner thanked them today for their input, and he also passed on his condolences to the family members who were here, saying it was an horrific incident. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Trowbridge.